welcome back to my channel. It's Michelle from Life as Michelle. Today I am just going to be doing a quick nighttime routine of cleaning. I'm going to be putting a quick meatloaf in the oven for Johnny because that's what he requested and I have everything on hand. And then I'm going to be taking you guys along with me to just do a, like I said, just a quick straightening up and the house is extremely messy and it's a Friday evening, so what better way to start the weekend than with a clean house? Um, also, if you guys have any suggestions on videos that you would like to see, please leave it in the comments below, and I will do my best to try and um, do them. And if you are not subscribed, please hit that bell because I do have a lot of upcoming, ex uh, exciting upcoming videos to, um, share with you guys and i hope that you like this video please give it a thumbs up and let's get right on into it so it's a little past 5 30 and i'm just gonna preheat the oven for the meatloaf and of course uh, take everything out because i store all my pans in there who can relate i'm just gonna gather all the ingredients actually i have everything out and prepared for the meatloaf and I'm going to be using a turkey meatloaf. And I'm just going to use one egg. A little bit of breadcrumbs. Um, beef gravy, I just use a little bit in the mixture. Salt, pepper, garlic powder. And a little bit of adobo complete seasoning, which I love, it's my favorite. And a little ketchup. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up real good. So while I was mixing that up, um, I realized that I did need a little more breadcrumbs. So Johnny came to help me because my hands were dirty in his Halloween costume. He's showing it off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line the pan with foil. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil and then I'm just gonna form the meatloaf and put it in. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little more of that beef gravy on top and a little more spices. And then I'm just gonna take the brush and make sure it's all incorporated on top. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven on 375 to start. And usually it's in for like an hour and then I lower it to 350 and while that's going I'm gonna go ahead and clean the dishes that were in the sink actually rinse them to put them in the dishwasher and the pans which I don't wash of course I'm going to do that separately I'm going to give Johnny his vitamins and I've been using the smarty pants kids and the teen one for Mark and I've been taking the Ollie woman's multivitamins and I seem to really like them I'm going to go ahead and load the dishwasher. And now I'm just going to go ahead and straighten up the counters because the counters are like a catch-all for everything. And just um, put some fruit in the fruit bowl, some oranges, and I have bananas. And I just bought this bento box for Johnny for school. And I've been really liking it to put his lunch in. And now I'm going to use the um, Caldrea spray for the counters. So now that the kitchen is somewhat straightened up, I'm going to move on to my bedroom. And I'm just going to change the sheets and I'm going to change out the blanket. I did recently get a new blanket that I'm going to be putting on. 
And I usually change the sheets um, actually once a week. So that's what I'll be doing here. So after I took the old sheets off, I just put on my new set and I have the Roomba running. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spray down the mirrors and wipe that down with a microfiber cloth. So after that's done, I'm gonna, going to move on to my vanity and this little table right here. And I did put my hair up so you know that this means business. Guys, I don't know what it is, but I find that my house is like extra dusty. Like, I don't know if it's because there's so much light in the house that it magnifies it, but I... I'm having to dust now like it used to be like once a week and now it's like every couple of days as I see the dust because it does drive me crazy. And I'm just going to move on to my little nightstand and I'm using the um, Method Wood Cleaner in Almond Scent. It's my favorite. So even though I have the room by running, I'm still gonna go ahead and vacuum the rugs because they really needed it. And this vacuum is really powerful. We've had it for so long. And I think my husband actually bought it off eBay and it was like a refurbished, but it's like so powerful and I don't wanna get rid of it. It still works really good and it leaves those vacuum lines that I love. And now I'm just going to move on to my dresser. I'm going to spray it down really well because that too gets super dusty. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything back where it goes. And I'm almost done, I'm getting there.
So my room is finally finished and the next clip that you are going to see is going to be the next day and it's gonna, going to be me um, decorating for fall. So I'm going to be decorating the house for fall with the exception of a few decorations that I did pick up last week that I couldn't resist from the Dollar Tree. But basically I'm gonna use everything I already have because I have so much and there's no sense in buying more when I do have so much already. So let's get right on into it. Guys, the Dollar Tree has come a long, long way. Like, I had to refrain myself because I wanted one of everything. And it was so funny too because here is um, fall and Halloween and like on the next aisle they had Christmas. So I just have everything spread out on the table. Like I said, most of the stuff I've had for years, some of the stuff I got new and you're gonna see me slowly setting stuff up and decorating. So here I had an, a mason jar with um, other colored flowers in there, like more for summer and spring. So I just took those out and I bought these from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to make like a fall arrangement. So I just basically played around with it until I, it was how I liked it, and I think it looks nice. So I just got this marble cake stand, and I thought that would look pretty to put the arrangement that I made, um, a gold pumpkin candle, and just um, a few other little candles next to it, and I think it looks really nice. Now I'm just going to move on to the dining room table. I don't really have anything fancy. As you're going to see, I just have um, like a full pumpkin tablecloth. But first I'm going to clean the table really well. And I just went ahead and put the, the tablecloth on and I have had this pumpkin decoration for the past like maybe five years that I always use and I think it looks nice. And now I'm just going to move on to this side table, um, give it a good cleaning and then I'm just going to go ahead and decorate it with the decorations that I chose. So I'm going to go ahead and put this um, fake flower arrangement here and I'm going to move on to the accent table and then come back to that. So here I just have um, just a few decorations for fall but I think it looks pretty. And I'm just going to hang up a few things. And of course my fall banner that I had from last year that I got from the Target dollar spot. So Mark is going to climb up on the counter and help me with another banner that I have and I just 
basically put it over the, um, the curtain rod. So I think my little table is done. I just put a little decoration next to it and a little candle holder and these leaves that I got from the Dollar Tree and I think it looks really cute and also another banner. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. I hope that you give it a thumbs up and please subscribe so you can get notifications of upcoming videos. Until next time, bye guys.